Okay, so out in Fresno, California, we're gonna try and get up here and take a quick video of this. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Get my camera in there real quick. And maybe, all right, right there. So that's a standard um, tailpiece for a pop-up drain. And normally what you've got in there is a rod that goes in there and then it goes up uh, to a, uh, a pull rod assembly up there and so you pull that up and down for the stopper so right now it's wide open so when you drain water out of here it's going to drip out of there so the rest of it in here is probably not leaking but if you get the rod assembly back in here and cap it off uh, your problem is resolved you would just be stuck with that goldish color drain that doesn't match the faucet but uh, honestly to take this whole thing off the wall becomes uh, quite a project two people require because it's pretty heavy uh, I would recommend, you know, if you can live with that color, to go ahead and just put this assembly together the way it is, and that'll resolve the, the drainage issue. Outside of that, we're done. So here in Fresno, California, we are buttoning up a faucet installation. These are Price Fister, and uh, they a really nice mounting system, really nice faucet. It's got the full flow, like a waterfall effect to it, so... Everything's in, hot, cold, uh, real nice. Not sure where that water's from. Anyway, so faucet's in, nice pop-up stopper. Working great. Down below, you can see we had to reconfigure the waste a little bit. Um, what it had there was that piping was hitting each other. The trap was hitting the, the tailpiece extension and making it crooked. So we cut that all out, reconfigured it, put a new trap in, new tailpiece extension. Up in here, I really like the mounting system, that price fister is using kind of kind of neat first one i've installed but i just want to take a picture of it real quick just so you can see what's going on so that's all really uh, a nice system i like it because up here you can see this green part it's almost like a shark bite fitting it slides onto the stem and uh and it's a quick connect and then these are spring loaded little blue you depress that and slide the tubes in hot depress it slide it in then it's got some quick quick connect over here at the faucet, you can see right there, there's a little adapter that sits in right there. It's hard to see, um, but uh, right above the nut for the um, braided supply line, there you can see the brass sticking out there. Anyway, so it just screws on right here. There's a black nut right there, and then there's an adapter, and then it goes to the supply line. Anyways, I just want to show you the mounting system down here. It's, uh, it's pretty pretty slick. I liked it. Uh, anyway, so that's a same faucet we've got over next to it, which is right here, and we've tested both of these out. So, two in the master. Everything's tightened down. Everything's been tested. There's no dripping. Angle stops are existing. We did not replace those. We installed the faucet, the drain, the tailpiece, the trap, and the braided supply lines. And uh, the existing stops, we did not replace those. We did tighten up the packing nuts a little just to make sure that you don't get any have any water leaking. We did that famous one finger test there. Don't try that at home. Just to make sure they're not dripping. Outside of that, this installation is done.